Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Two Point Hospital. How did I jump that high? I don't know, I've only got 22 patients left. I had a feeling that we're not going to do very well this time round. And I've got to wait for another one. I've got, I, I got patients dying all over the place, this is a problem. Right, you, right there, six out of six, we get 20 grand for that. That's good. That is good. $20,000 coming in, but it's it's these. I'm not pro- Early warning, staff should secure patients before securing themselves. This seems to be my problem. Is I'm not curing patients fast enough. They're not going Genitor through the doctors. To repair discharger. So I need to get my patients going through the doctor's surgeries just a little tiny bit faster. See, they're not able. So he's, he's now available to go to treatment, but he's dead before he gets there, which doesn't help me. I mean, it doesn't affect the cure rate, but it means that I don't get to do the treatment, which is where we earn the big bucks. So we need them to come in. It's the 28th of September right now, 29th, 30th there. Uh, we'll, if we stop right on that one, loans, 17, ooh, right, we can do it here. Take out those two, repay that one and do that. That gives me 263,000. Now is the time to go and do some expansion. So we need, let's have a look in here. First up, uh, research level four. No, I've got no surgeries waiting. Psychiatry, okay, let's go into here. Psychiatry level five, ward management level five, GP level five. Ooh. No, I don't have psychiatry level five yet. I have got GP level five. That would be a really good one to do. So I will do GP level five in here. This is a very specialist bit of training, this is. GP level 5. Yes. Good gravy. That's $35,000 to do that. It's going to take 23 days. So we will start that one. That's excellent. That is fantastic. And we're going to go to higher. I need more doctors. Right. Increase hospital level 20 to unlock another one. You are coming in. Higher. You're going to be a GP. Hiya, can I get any more GPs? I've got you as diagnostics doctor. That's not going to help me. Another nine days? No, I'm not going to... I don't think that's going to happen. I've got 18 doctors. I've got 13 nurses. Do I want any more nurses? i got another treatment nurse. I could go with any nurse, really. Uh, janitors. I don't think I need... I think it's just some doctors. I could do with... I suppose one doctor and then train them up into the general practice and I can expand this by two new surgeries which we will put over this side. Uh, I'm going to need to remove these items here so that one can go down to there. That one can go over to there as well. Move you. Have I got... That one's already been used up so that one can go into there. Uh, you haven't been used. Where else have we got that? Oh no, it's th there is one there. There's one there. Uh, there's one in there. Where have I used my fire extinguishers? This room has used the fire extinguisher up, so that one can go into there. I'm not going to worry about any others. That can go here somewhere. Shout. I don't know where where I should put this one. Is that, 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 that corridor there is going to be taken up with these. Um, I mean, I could put a bit there, but it's going to just leave a big cold spot. All right, you know what? I'll just dump it over there for now. And then we'll run back over this way. And it's that palm tree there that I want to move. That one can go over there like that. So now we go to you and we go to copy. We turn that one round. That's not got a lot of space in the corridor there for that. And also... The door isn't going to fit either. That's got to go there like that. And how am I going to do this? 
Right, in order to make this fit, I'll have to go to that one there, and I'll just move it over here a second. And then that one can go out there a minute. That one... It's not going to let me do that at all. This one here has got to move. It'd be better if I could move that door, actually. So can cancel this idea completely. Do you want to stop editing the room? Yes, I do. That one's been moved out now. All right, fine. Let's chuck that one down over there for a second. And move... Uh, no, I need to edit the room. So edit the room like this, and then take that one and move it over by one space like that, and then stop. And then if I go into here again, and I go to copy, I can then spin that round a little bit, and I can drop that one there, and that will actually fit in. Perfect. Right. So there is another GP surgery. I can't do another one here, because that door is going to be in the way. So i got to do something similar to this. So we just want to move the hand sanitizer over there. Uh, then I want to move that bench there, and then I want to edit the DNA lab and move the door over that side like that. Done. Back over here, go to you, copy, and put that one down there like that. I've got... Uh, that one needs to go out this way. That will go there, and that one will go there. Right. Two new doctor surgeries. That will spread the patients out. I've got one new doctor that is just now coming in. I got GP level 5 that I'm training right there. I don't really want GP level 5. Oh, uh, there's another room that I need to do over this side now, isn't there? We need the 8-bitten room. We had that one, the resolution lab. There. Uh, this is a 4x4 four four room. That one can go... Actually, that can... That's only a 3x3 three three down there. Uh, so... Get rid of those like that. And go into there. And then go 1, 2, 3, and 4. So we've got a 4x4. Four four. And that one can go into there, and then I've got this, the resolution machine doodah thingy over here. We'll put a bin down in the corner. We'll put a fire extinguisher in here. We'll put nice smelling hand sanitizer, an air conditioning unit like that. Uh, I'll put a clock in the room. What else have I got? I've got a glitchy patch poster. That can go in there. And I'd like the 8-bitten poster. A mature mummification right there. And 8-bitten right there. That poster can go into that room. And I would also like a clock on the wall. Can go over there. And we'll put a wicker chair in here as well like that. And that puts us level 3. There's 30 grand on that one. Then we're going to go over here to this lab right here. We're going to start doing some more research thinking that I ought to go for one of the bigger research projects because I'm unlikely to be able to come back to it anytime soon. Training research right there. I'm going to train my own research on here because that's something that I haven't done yet. So that's 8,000 points. It's going to keep my uh, trainee busy for a little while. Now I can repay those two loans so that we've got 150,000 that we can come back to a bit later on when we need them and we're not going to be paying out the six grand, seven grand almost a month in payments for those, which is going to help. That is going to help us out a little bit. So we're down to 17,000. It is going to go into a big negative chunk in just a minute. I've got level five GP training right there. And then as soon as that's done, I, well, I kind of want to get more specialist training going, but it's not going to happen at the moment, is it? There, minus 99,000. Um,. Hopefully, that training is not going to go too drastic. These extra doctors over here, that is going to help. What I do, the other thing that I want to do is I need to go to my staff list in there and that one. And then I've got my new doctor, not uh, not nurses. I've got my new doctor that I just went and got. Just went and picked up this new doctor. And he's going to be a GP. He's going to be a specialist GP. 
right there. Uh, your diagnostics, you can go into x-ray. I need to train you up into more stuff, really, don't I? You can do x-ray. Uh, you can't do x-ray, but you can do there. And this is a problem. There, the DNA lab, I can't, like, limit Gwendoline to just doing diagnostics. That is a problem for me. That is a very serious problem for me. So I've got five doctors up here that are all trained to level four. And then I got a doctor down here who's not trained in anything. He is also going to be a GP, but he's just not going to be as good. So, like, he will help to lighten the load a little bit for all of these new people that are going to be coming through. Today's sponsor is Rent an Eel. Rent, Rent an Eel for all of your short-term eel-based needs. <laughs> okay. This is Two Point Radio. I wasn't expecting Rent an Eel. I must admit. Uh, one patient remaining, uh, we've got minus 68,000, I've got 15 days left on this training course, which means that that is going to go up to uh, well over the limit of what our loans can cover, unfortunately, which means I'm not going to be able to get another training course started, at least not a specialist training course. Not at the moment. We're going to have to wait until it sort of cycles around and then I can grab the extra 150 grand that we've got. See, it's just not happening. Um... But I can roll out this training. No soiling the hospital. Done. Right. What well, I've got a choice here. I've got a choice. I can go in here. No, I don't. All of those other doctors are not ready to be trained yet. So it's literally just going to be him. So I will go there and I'll take general practice. He will train up through a bit faster than the others. Uh, I just need to find whoever can train him the fastest. 130, 130, 140, 130. So, I'll take you, despite you being the best doctor in the hospital, I'll put you on there. It's 27 days, that course, that it's going to take. I'm still going to have you doing it. Still going to have you doing it. And then, once that 27, because, like, they they got to process through here a bit first. Take them a while to get 120 people starting to go through here. They'll spread out a bit through some of the doctor's surgeries. And then these two will be along shortly to assist with everything else that needs to go on. So we've got four doctors here. How many GPs have I? I need to have six GPs. Have a look in the list. I need to have six GPs now. One, two, three, four, five, and six is that dude down there. I haven't got any spare GPs, so when one of them needs to take a break, uh, they will just be taking a break, and that will be it, unfortunately. But I think that's going to be all right. So there we go. We are over 250,000 in the hole. We've got 120 people coming through. I think we're going to do all right. All right, we've got the extra treatments over here. I've got that one in there. That requires the, the resolution lab right there. Uh, stats in here. That's a doctor's one. But yeah, the, the people will come over here and, and they will go and do whatever work Training they need to do. Complete. Class dismissed. General practice has now been learned, which means those two doctors are going to go into the surgeries and we're going to spread out the patients a little bit more. He's got 80 people here queued up. Why aren't these other two doing anything? Uh... Is something not right here? Do I need to move it a bit? Let's try that. 40. And it should be someone go and sit in here. 27. Right. They are now going between them. I don't know why I had all 80 into that one. But, uh, well, that's, that's just how it was. Uh, December 31st, January the 1st. Here we go. End of year review. Okay, we're, close to award season. we're 350 grand in the hole, and we have got open all. Prestigious Patients Employer of the Year. I've had all of them except the no deaths. The only one I have not had is the no deaths award. Nurse to the fracture ward. Fracture ward up over here. I need to train those up a bit better, don't I? Right, there's EU. 
I'm just coming back into another round of recording. We have got eight waves left to go, just starting our next wave, as most of you know, because it happens like literally just a few seconds ago. Um, but what I was looking at, it has been pointed out that I've got four and a half thousand kudos points down there and I haven't been spending any. And the plan is once I've finished this hospital to three stars, I'm going to be wrapping up this playthrough anyway. So it's about time I spent some of these points. This is what I've been told. Uh, gold star awards need to be first on the list. Now, I don't have any money to go and actually spend them, but these gold star awards, uh, if you look there, the first highest level of goodness, yes. Uh, apparently, these will increase room prestige more than anything else. So if you want level 5 room prestige um, in all of your rooms, you simply go and plaster these all over the wall. So I've got one of those ready to start doing that. And then there is loads and loads of other just little bits here that we can add to the list. Uh, there's a load of big statues there. That was from, I think, the Chinese New Year celebrations. We've got rugs here at 500 points. There's a 900 point one there, 1800 points. Uh, a lot of these seem very, very expensive. This is why I've been saving my kudos points, because it just doesn't seem like it is worth spending all of this money. I mean, the sweet dispenser, yeah, we'll go and get that one. Um, we've got cozy kiosks right there. That requires an assistant to use that one. A hot dog kiosk right there. That's 1,500 points, that is. That's a lot, but I kind of like the idea of selling hot dogs in a hospital. It. I, I don't know why. I, I just really like the idea of selling hot dogs in a hospital. Um, you know, if, you, if you're going to have a heart attack from uh, bad eating, you've, you're in the right place. <laughs> you're absolutely in the right place. Um, silver bench, sophisticated backless. We've got some different types of energy drinks. We've got energy, a chance drink, a laxative drink, luxury snacks. Let's get a couple of these. We'll have that one. We'll have the laxative drink as well, although we're going to have to make sure that we've got somewhere to have that one working. Luxury snacks at 300 points. I've got to be a bit careful now. I'm burning through my points. Amusing snack machine, absorbent snack machine. Um, this designed for those without time for the toilet. This snack absorbs your unwanted bodily toilet. Uh, reduces unwanted bodily, unwanted bodily fluids, reduces toilet need. Uh, reduces hunger, increases thirst, reduces toilet need. I guess we could actually use that. There's 500 points right there. That seems like it would be a good thing. And now I've only got 445 points left. So I'm going to save those last few points. I'm not going to go and spend those just yet. Uh, I will allow things to start moving. We've got an earthquake. Staff training is required. Uh, not for a minute. I need these guys to kind of work through this. in psychiatry. Doctor needed in psychiatry. What training courses do I have available at the minute? We've got trainees right here. I would like level four for our nurses in the wards. That would be absolutely fantastic. I want level four for surgery. Jonathan Riggle right there needs to be level three treatment. So I'm going to take him in there. Courses available, treatment level three. And I'm going, you're 130. I'm going to have a look and see if we can find a nurse uh, or a doctor. So it's going to, I'll take you right there. 21 days and I'll start that training. So then that nurse is going to be a level five nurse. They're going to be leveled right up as high as they can go. Um, I kind of just need to wait for money now, don't I? It's what we were mostly doing was just waiting for money. I've got a lot of different treatments. We've got the 8-bit treatment over here. I've got a patient on their way over. I've already got seven cures in a row. Let's have a look at the 8-bit, uh, the debugger in here. Nurse, please go to the pharmacy. There we go. Debugged. 8-bit through the high definition. Fantastic. There's another one coming in. So we had 8,000 for that one, and now we've got the curing spree... We've got 14, 16 in a row. You're coming in. You're, are you going to get a yes? We've got 13,000 from that one. Health inspection, five grand. Uh, Willowwood is ready for a promotion. I'm promoting them now to green happy faces. 
So we've got 18 people cured in a row. The health inspector is coming. Please try to look healthy. Please, please try to look healthy. Get a level 5 staff room. I'm going to accept that because I'm hopeful that I can actually do something about it. With our treatment nurses and everything going up like they are, this this is really good Training because complete. Class dismissed. Like we get we get a higher chance of um, successful treatments. The more specialized more specialized our nurses and doctors are, the, the the closer the chance we get of actually doing something right. I'm at 180,000 on there. What are my loans? I can take two loans out here. That's 150,000. I don't want to do that yet. We're going to wait. We are in debt again. But we're now on 299. And we just lost a patient. I hope that you have enjoyed today's well, entertainment. Lost. It does make me rather dewy-eyed to hear it back after all this time. And it comes as a pertinent reminder to us all. Do check the locations and date on your invitations so as to avoid misunderstandings and embarrassment. Cheerio! Right, that person there is waiting for treatment in the DNA lab. That doctor right there is the treatment doctor in the DNA lab. That's good. Right, I just got another failure over there. Failure of treatment from, well, the... I don't know, it must have been this room. Must be this room right here. So what are you working in pest control? You are... You've got two levels. Uh, I still need to get you to the uh, level three. You're, you're not leveled up yet, so we we got a little ways to go before that one is. Staff promotion right here, senior consultant. You can be promoted like that. Uh, 160, 150,000. You failed in the helixer. Eight bit emergent. Yes, bring them in. Patients on the way. Right, I'm now down to 116,000. If I was to take out both of those loans. I would end up with about 40 grand, which would be enough to do a single training course, and that would be about it. So I'm going to leave it again. We've got another 74 patients still waiting to cure. So I'm going to wait, and I'm not going to do it. And I'm going to hope that all of these 8-bit patients coming in will actually be able to earn us a decent bit of money. I've got them coming in there. I can't put benches outside. They're just going to have to stand around and wait. But treatment does seem to be pretty quick just in this room. Repair turbo plunger. I'm hoping that treatment will also be... Curing spree. Aha! Curing spree again. That's good. I'm hoping that treatment will also happen fast enough here in the debugger and be successful enough that we get the bonus for doing the 8-bitten patients. Because if you get all seven of them, you get a really nice bonus on that. Now, I'm missing out a little bit on money here because the janitor is having to do the repair work. But that's done. I should have a patient in there now. There he goes. Right, patient is going in. It's 28th of April, 29th, 30th. Right, I'm going to stop there. So I've got 50 grand now. We've just lost the curing spree. If I take that out, I have about 100,000. That's not enough to repay this one. And that will leave me with 100,000. But it will also leave me with an extra six grand a month in payments. I kind of like the idea of trying to work through and not do this. Uh, you need training. You know, what? I'm going to go to train now on you. All right, you don't have very much in the way of training at the moment. You've got ghost capture, but you don't have anything else. So I could give you motivation, which is a really good one for you and the assistants to have. Or I give you stamina training, which again is another really good one to have. So training units required 240. Um, it's either got to be uh, motivation or stamina training. I could go with mechanics, but I don't really need to. Maintenance would probably be a good one because that gives plus 30%. Uh, trainees, well, he's the only one that can do that. Mechanics is several, but that's upgrading machines. It's wasted slots on our janitors. We go stamina uh, longer, well, actually man, uh, motivation. Basically, they work faster. So in here, who have I got that wants motivation? I want the customers, I want the assistants to get customer service level two, so those aren't going to be trained. Um, they're going to wait and they're going to get customer service level two. You over here, though, you're a janitor. 
you're going to have this training as well. There isn't anybody else that I want to have this training now. I've got two assistants that I need trained in customer service level two. Trainers available over here. I've got a few of these that have got this skill. Teddy Custard, there, 210%. I think you're the one. I think you are the one right here. Start training, Teddy Custard, and that's 15 to 17 days. I'll let you carry on and do that. So there's going to be a, a few sort of helping hands. I'm already... Like, look at the money and the way that the uh, deficit of cash is dropping. I've got eight cures in a row. There's a... Maintenance required is that a cure? In cardiology. That was failed. You re correctly replaced his head and it failed anyway. Right, minus 59,000 on there. How are we doing over with the 8 bitten? So far, I've, this one's working really well. Dr. Herbie Field. So, what's the doctor in here doing that he's failing so much? That one, I've had a few failures on that one. Which doctor is it? I've, I've got a feeling it was this doctor. There, you. You got treatment level 3. Uh, I have Training just completed. I have just failed one of the eight bitten patients as well, unfortunately. Down to seven thousand nine hundred, we're actually Genetics, now in profit. Repair research pod. Twenty nine thirtieth of May, and we're up to twenty two thousand. That's pretty good. Right, staff promotion, Jan a junior janitor to janitor. We want to make sure that they've all got green happy faces. Um, you're ready for promotion there. A doctor. We've got another promotion over here. Another doctor being promoted. And another doctor over here being promoted as well. So three doctors right there just, just been promoted. You in this corner. Gwendolyn Doolittle. You've been promoted. Now, I've got 22,000. Is that going to be enough to do... Uh, one of the higher level trainings that I want to do. Uh, that's all finished over there. So what I want to do in here is I want customer service level 2. I've already got one person trained in that. Didn't realise I'd done that. Right, well that's not going to cost me any money. I've already got my head assistant trained in that. So I'll come back to that one because I want one that's going to cost me money. So I'm not going to do that course. I'm actually thinking I either need to... No, I've got general practice level 5 that's already trained out. Treatment level 4, that's already trained out. Surgery level 4 I could do, or ward management level 4. I'm going to try this one. I need 30 grand to be able to do that, and I don't have 30 grand. So we are going to have to take out a loan. I'm going to take out the um, smaller loan. I wanted to try to avoid loans at the moment. And I'm going to train one person in ward management level four. It's going to have to be you. And I'm going to, you're 130, 130. You're all the same. So I'm going to train one nurse in ward management level four. Like that. That's going to cost us a little bit of money, admittedly. So I got 42 grand left. What else do I want to go and spend money on? Uh, this is something that I've got to be... Uh, I know that we've got our items now. I had a staff request get a level 5 staff room. Now, I've got a staff room over here. So, I reckon if we scroll down through and we have a look... Like, we've now got the hot dog kiosk and things like that. Uh, although, that's got to be manned by an assistant. Needs a staff assistant. And the cosy kiosk... Also needs an assistant as well, so we kind of need some more assistants coming in if we're going to fix it. Well, I think that's quite enough care and loving attention inflicted upon the patients from myself for today. So we will return next time. In the meantime, if you have enjoyed this episode, then could you please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.